Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this mountain weather update. We still have our storm system on the way. Probably the first significant snow of the season for the mountains of Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. The timeline, 10, 11, and 10, 12. Um, the track trend is a little further to the north. I'll explain what that means for Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado coming up. And this will deliver a 15 to 30 degree temperature drop. So I did do a blog post this morning, chrystomer.com. Take a look at it. There's my analysis. Um, I talked about some of the mountain town forecasts in Colorado, like Aspen and Vail will start as rain, and then they will change over to snow. So the snow levels start high, and then they begin to drop during the course of the storm as that colder air pours in. Uh, mountain town of Steamboat Springs stays mainly rain. It's a little bit lower in elevation than Aspen or Vail. Um, there's your current setup. In fact, I'll show you what that looks like. Here it is. So water vapor satellite imagery, you got the oranges and the reds represent your drier air aloft. Here's where the moisture is, and this is where the jet stream is playing right now. It's going to start to cut to the south into Wyoming and eventually Colorado. But there's one storm system right there, and there's another one behind it. This will be the main activity chute. Um, the main player here, which will eventually translate down through Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. I looked at the forecast in the middle atmosphere on this. I'll show you that map full screen. There's your jet forecast. I've got that coming up. And a uh, snowfall forecast map with numbers. And I updated that this afternoon. So if you looked at this blog post this morning, I updated the numbers this afternoon. So you might want to take another look at that. I'll show you what those are coming up. Um, forecast radar. I did a high peaks forecast. Grand Teton, Kings Peak, Capital, Longs, and Quandary. And there's a forecast radar, which I'll also show you. In fact, we'll start with that, actually. Here is a forecast radar, so you can get an idea of how things are flowing in the atmosphere. Current state, here we are by the time we get to tomorrow morning at 6. Storm begins to move in by tomorrow at 4 p.m. And then we're really into the action here. By Thursday in the morning, colder air pouring in, turning over everything to snow at a lot of places. Still snowing up in the, uh, the Wasatch, the High Uintas. Um, the Wind Rivers and uh, Jackson Hole up through the Tetons, and snowing in the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Bulk of the snow in Colorado above 10,000, but like I said, the snow will likely, it'll turn the snow all the way down to probably seven or 8,000 feet, 7,500, 8,000 feet. We're also going to see a change over a curve, um, over parts of the snowy range, looking for some pretty big totals there in Wyoming. Here's the, uh, the view by the time you can see the changeover happening across Wyoming. 415 on the 12th, mainly rain for Denver and the Eastern Plains. Snow for the higher elevations of the Black Hills of South Dakota, 6 inches plus. And then there's uh, the tail end of it by 1013 in the morning. Storm systems moving away, wrap around behind it, and then that's it. As we flow into the weekend here, you can see what's happening. Another storm for the Pacific Northwest mainly rain. Uh, that's the second one I drew on that uh, water vapor. So there you go. Um, let me show you a couple of uh, full screen maps here. Here's jet stream forecast for the 12th, Thursday at 11 p.m. You can see the dip in the jet moving through Wyoming, Colorado, Utah. You can see there's an area of low pressure spinning up in northeast Colorado and Nebraska. That's what's going to give you that wrap around through Wyoming and pour, pull and pour all that cold air in from the north. Um, here is the uh, middle of the atmosphere forecast. This is valid Thursday morning as well. Big dip in the middle of the lower pressure anomalies. That's what you're looking at, lower pressure anomalies. Um, colder air, uh, all of that uh, is what's helping to produce this precipitation, um, this event moving through. So my forecast totals through the 13th look like this. I upped the number for Alta and Snowbird. I think that... Uh, 6 to 10, 6 to 12, somewhere in there uh, is definitely possible for a little cottonwood. Less as you go in a big, less even less as you head up towards um, Park City and beyond. Uh, probably about a 3 to 6 inch snow across the Grand Teton, um, maybe closer to 6 on Grand Teton itself. Um, look at Hoggaden. So I added Hoggaden uh, Basin up there near Casper, Wyoming. I added that to the map, so that's going to be a feature now on all these maps probably about a foot. You can see there's a nice swath of heavy snow through the Black Hills. And in Colorado, the central to northern mountains, generally four to eight inches. Um, there will be some areas 
And again, these are mid-mountain numbers. Um, uh, so even higher than this, uh, higher up on the mountain, you could see bigger totals like um, at the very top of Vail Mountain, maybe 10. Uh, Mount of the Holy Cross, certainly 10 to 12, maybe a little bit more. Um, Long's Peak up there, 6 plus, Cameron Pass, a foot or more. So you get an idea of, um, of what to expect with that map. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it, and uh, take care.